the final problem we will examine regards the heat capacity of solids. Classically, the mean energy of a solid for one mole is U is equal to 3RT, where U is the internal energy, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature. Now, the heat capacity at constant volume can be calculated as the derivative of the internal energy with respect to temperature, keeping the volume constant. And so in this case, we get C sub V is equal to 3R. And so this explanation concludes that the heat capacity is independent of temperature, since it does not vary with temperature. This classical view was incompatible with experiment at low temperatures. In the plot on the right, the dashed line is 3 times R, which is the classical value of the heat capacity of a solid. And the data points represent the actual heat capacity of a solid, and that these deviate dramatically from the dashed line. In order to solve this problem, Einstein in 1907 followed Planck's um, idea of quantization again, and he assumed that the solid could be represented as a collection of harmonic oscillators with discrete energy values equal to n times Planck's constant times their frequency. Assuming that all oscillators had the same frequency nu naught, the energy or the internal energy of a solid is calculated as n times 3 h nu naught divided by e raised to the power of h nu naught over kbt minus 1, where n is the number of atoms. Now taking the derivative of this, we can then find the heat capacity, and it is now calculated as 3n kb times this new value theta e divided by t all squared, and this is multiplied by e to the power of theta e divided by t divided by e raised to the power of theta e divided by t minus 1 all squared. And this is where the definition for theta e is, which is just h nu naught over kb. We're just grouping together some constants into this value. But in this case now, this, this new heat capacity at constant volume, the plot of this is represented by the solid line on the figure now on the left. And as can be seen, it relates much, much, much better to the experimental data. And hence, again, by using the idea of quantization, we have now been able to explain a third physical problem that was unable to be explained using classical mechanics. So, to summarize, the basic principles of science were thought to be solved by the end of the 19th century, except for a few key exceptions. And these included black body radiation, the photoelectric effect, and heat capacities in solids. Using the idea that energy was quantized, these key exceptions were solved. Keep in mind that the energy of different things were quantized in each of these physical phenomena. In black body radiation, it was the electrons that were vibrating. In the photoelectric effect, it was the energy of the packets of light, the photons. And in the heat capacities of solids, it was the mechanical vibrations of the atoms themselves. The universality of this application of quantized energy and the natural emergence of Planck's constant began to convince many in the scientific community to rethink their classical worldview. This was the beginning of the quantum era.